Okay, so today we're diving into something that uh, everyone's talking about. Yeah. AI. It's everywhere. AI powered content marketing. We got some interesting stuff from RP Design. Right. Um, and they're saying they've figured out how to use AI to help businesses dominate their competition. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a look at their strategy. Okay. See how it works. Yeah. See if it actually lives up to all the hype. So you're ready to find out if AI is really the marketing magic bullet Let's do that it. everybody's talking about? I think what's really fascinating about what RP Design is doing is it's not just about you know using AI to generate content. It's right. about this whole like holistic approach, right. right? They're talking about using all these different platforms, different types of content. Yeah. And I think that that really reflects what's happening in marketing in general, right? It's not just about like one thing anymore. It's this idea of like an integrated strategy where yeah. you've got all these different pieces working together. Ooh. Yeah, so they've got like five main components to their strategy. There's the video commercial. Okay. There's a blog article. Mm -hmm. Then there's a website page that's dedicated to posting that video in the article. Then you've got this whole social media blitz. Right. And then there's the backlinking, the backlink strategy. And powering all of this yes. is, you guessed it, <laughs> the AI algorithm. AI algorithm. Yeah, and it's not just like writing blog posts and stuff. It's like analyzing data and optimizing your content for search engines, figuring out the best channels. Right. You know, like maybe it's looking at what keywords are your target audiences using, or it's comparing your website to your competitors. Yeah, it's like having a marketing analyst working for you 24-7. Yeah. But it's AI. Exactly. Pretty crazy. Pretty wild. So they're claiming that, you know, they've got proof that this works. They're pointing to their own success. They rank really high for this term, Cheshire Online Branding. Okay. Um, but I'm wondering, like, can they really take that success in that one niche and just apply it across the mm -hmm. board? I mean, that's the big question, right? Like, just because it works in one little niche, does it mean it'll work for everybody? Right, exactly. Because, like, what works for, you know, some branding agency in Cheshire might not work for, like, a big e-commerce company or something, right? Yeah. It's going to depend on the audience, the competition, no, all man. sorts of things specific to the industry, so. Right, and they also talk about the importance of repetition. So constantly, like, refining the process, testing, adapting, because obviously the market's always changing. Yeah, you got to stay on top of things. Yeah. And they get that. They're not just looking for, like, a quick win. They're in it for the long game, which I think is smart. Right, because what works today might not work tomorrow. Exactly. You're right. It's constantly changing. And I think that's why this whole AI thing is so interesting, right? Because AI can analyze all this data so fast mm -hmm. and it can adapt. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's really powerful. So what's the takeaway here for our listeners? I yeah. mean, should everybody be running out to hire a bunch of AI bots? I wouldn't say that, but I think what's important is it's not just about using some fancy AI tool. It's about taking this data-driven approach. Right. Whether you're using AI or you're just doing good old-fashioned research, you've got to understand your audience, you've got to understand your competitors, and you've got to understand that the digital world is always changing. It's like you're saying, don't just follow the recipe, learn how to cook. Yeah, exactly. You know? You gotta understand yeah. the fundamentals, right? Yeah. You can't just like blindly follow the trends. Right. You have to be able to think for yourself, you know, get creative and apply those principles yeah. to your own situation. So this leaves us with a question for you, the listener. How can you use data, whether it's through AI or some other way, to make better decisions about your marketing strategy. And remember, the best marketing isn't about following the crowd. It's about finding your own unique rhythm and really making some noise in the digital world. I like that. All right. That's our deep dive for today. Yeah. We'll catch you next time. Bye.